Now, shooting 360-degree panoramas may seem like a complex thing to do, but with the Google Street View app on your smartphone, it's an incredibly fun and easy way for anyone to achieve. Now, though I use an Insta360 ONE X camera, you don't need expensive cameras, a complicated rig, or any special photographic equipment or expertise to produce an awesome spherical panoramic. You just need a smartphone and an app. So here's my five step process for making these videos with just your phone and a free app. And oh, don't forget to like this video if you find it useful and consider subscribing so you can stay updated with my channel too. Thank you. Now, one of the things that people don't know about the Google Street View app is that the app helps your own creation of 360 degree imagery of your neighborhood or anywhere you visit uh, using your smartphone camera to add locations to Google Maps. Okay, step one get ready to shoot. After downloading and launching the app, you should be able to start shooting your panoramic immediately. But first, make sure you've given Street View permission to access your smartphone camera settings in the settings. The app also uses location services, so it's a good idea to grant the app that privilege at least whilst you're using it. Decide whether you want to restrict uploading to just Wi-Fi only when you're connected, or if you don't mind using your data plan to post your panoramics. Step two, start shooting. Tap the orange icon at the bottom of the screen and choose camera. A large empty dot appears in the middle of the screen and it will guide you through a series of shots that will construct your panoramic image. Now hold the phone in a vertical position and keep it close to your body as you move the phone around to line up each orange circle with the dot. The circle and dot appear automatically, prompting you to follow, and the app automatically shoots an image where both the orange circle and empty dot are aligned. Another circle at the bottom of the screen tracks the panoramic's progress as you move the camera around your stationary position. Step three, shoot up and down. The initial movement of the circle prompt will be located around about eye level, but a 360 degree image is a sphere. So once you've finished with the middle part of the scene, you want to aim your camera up towards the sky and move around in a circle again, twice. The app automatically detects which parts of the scene have not yet been recorded. So the dot and the circle will continue to prompt you to follow them in order for you to fill in the sky. Keep pointing up and moving the phone around until all the gaps are filled. Then aim your camera at the ground and do exactly the same thing around your feet. Now, when all the shots are compiled, the Street View app stitches all the panoramic fragments together automatically. Now, there are no opportunities to edit the panoramic, though a tap and hold blur function allows you to blur faces, addresses, your feet, or anything else that might be distracting in your image. But other than that, there are no sophisticated editing tools available in Street View. If you want to edit further, make sure you elect to save the panoramic to your camera roll on either your iPhone or panorama folder on your Android device. And that way you can open the image in an editor like Snapseed or whatever it is that you use and use the healing brush or other tools to enhance your photos. It also enables you to use your panoramic in any other way that you want to as well, not just for Street View and Google Maps. Now, if you edit your panoramic, you'll have to use the import 360 function to place it in the Street View app in order to upload it. But be careful not to go overboard in your editing. Google has pretty strict rules around authenticity that stop you from cropping or other invasive fixes too much that falsify the look of a location. So just be aware of that. Number four, place your panoramic on the map. When you're done shooting your panoramic, you wanna label it with the nearest location. Now, because Google Street View is heavily aligned with Google Maps, your phone's GPS already has some idea where you are and automatically offers a list of nearby locations and venues with which you can use to tag your image. Just pick the closest public place that best describes your location. And step five, post to Google Maps. You'll need an internet connection in order to post your panoramic to Google Maps. If you're shooting in areas where there's no cell connection or Wi-Fi, the program automatically saves your panoramic privately. As soon as you can get to a place where there's a strong connection, tap the card and it will upload your image for the entire world to see. You will periodically get emails from Google letting you know how many people have viewed your panoramic image. And that's it, you're done. You've learned how to take a 360 degree photo with your phone for Google Maps using the Street View app. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing too. 
Cheers and go well.